Hi, in this video, we'll be discussing about how to solve the problem convert array into zigzag fashion. So let's start by reading the problem statement. So the problem statement is like you are given an array ARR which contains only distinct elements of size n. Rearrange the elements of the array in zigzag fashion. The converted array should be of the form a less than b greater than c less than d greater than e like that up to uh, like the rest of the elements. The relative order of the elements is same in the output that is you have to iterate on the original array only. Okay, so if you see we are given a void method uh, zigzag so basically we have to make changes in this ARR itself we cannot create a new array. All right. So, uh, for example, in this case, uh, four, three, seven, eight, six, two, one, converting it to a zigzag array, three, seven, four, eight, two, six, one. If you see, like three is le less than seven, greater than four, which is greater than four. Four is less than eight. Eight is greater than two. Two is less than six. Six is greater than one. So that's a valid uh, answer. Now, uh, the expected time complexity is order of n. Expected space complexity is order of one because we have to make changes in the same array itself. All right, uh, let's see how we can solve this. So we are given an array. Uh, let's take some array. Let's say uh, 3, 4, 1, 2, 6, uh, 6, 5, something like this. Let's say, okay, we have to convert this to a zigzag array. Now, one solution will be we can sort this array, right? We can sort this array. So let's uh, sort this array. And what do we get? We get one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now to convert a sorted array into a zigzag array, it's actually pretty simple. You just don't do anything with the first element. For the second element and third element, you swap them. So 3, 2, right? Now, what should be the condition? Like 3 is greater than 2, 1 is less than 3, 3 is greater than 2. 2 should be less than 4, but that is true, right? That will be definitely true because uh, the next elements will definitely be greater than the previous elements. So that condition definitely holds. So here again, we'll swap pairwise, right? 4, 5 will be swapped. So 5, 4. See, it is uh, actually not there and five, finally 6. Now, if you see, this is actually a zigzag array because 1 less than 3, greater than 2, less than 5, great, greater than 4, less than 6. So you, we can take pairwise elements uh, in a sorted array except the first element and we can keep on sort, uh, like we can keep on swapping them uh, like that and so we'll end up in a, uh, we'll end up in a zigzag array. So what is the time complexity involved here? The space complexity is definitely order of 1 but the time complexity becomes order of n log n which is actually uh, not the expected one, it's worse than the expected one. So how can we make this better? Let's understand that. So we'll not definitely will not be doing sorting. So let's get rid of these parts. Okay. We have this array, right? We want to convert this to a zigzag array. What can we do is we actually do not need sorting to convert this to a zigzag array. Why? Because uh, let's understand the condition. So let's just take three elements. What can be the various conditions in which three elements can happen appear? So three elements can be, let's say ABC, A less than B less than C. That is one of the cases. Right. Uh, the second case will be A less than B greater than C. The third can be A greater than B less than C. Fourth can be A greater than B greater than C. These are the four cases in which three elements can be available, right? Uh, in the array. No, no, no other possibility can be, like no other uh, combination will be possible here, right? Uh, so for this, what can we do is A less than B less than C. We can swap B and C, right? So A less than C greater than B. So we are swapping B and C. In this case, A less than B greater than C. In this case, what can we do is we can, uh, we already have uh, whatever we need, right? It It is same, like A less than B greater than C. This is exactly what we need. Uh, in this case, A greater than B less than C, right? A greater than B less than C. In this case, what can we do? We just need to swap AB, right? So it will become B less than A and A, uh, but again, like A, C, we don't know about it. So in the next iteration, so it can be either less than C or it can be B less than A greater than C, right? Uh, we can have this. So first iteration, we are actually like, we are here, we are swapping A, B. And in the next iteration, we can actually swap A, C, right? So we can definitely swap A, C here. And uh, like in this case, we can swap A, C. So it will become B less than C greater than A. And in this case, it is already in valid order, right? So what we basically see here and also for the last case also we'll, we can see like similarly uh, the first swap 
we do we will go to b uh b should be less than a and a is greater than c so it will be directly like in one swap it is possible we don't need to swap a b uh, a c right so we see that if we go through the elements iteratively one by one and if we swap like if uh let's say if we want right now we can maintain a flag what do we want do we want a less than b or do we want a greater than b right now if we want a less than b and if this condition is satisfied then we keep it otherwise we swap it and if we do like that we see we can always end up in a zigzag fashion right because it always will have any one of these conditions and in all the conditions we can see that uh, in just uh, like swapping the current element and the next element we can end up in a zigzag order so that will always hold right so let's understand with this example that we have so so initially like uh, what do we want we uh, flag will be initially false because we want less than right for the first element so we'll start from this element three uh three and four uh, so we want less than right and three and four is less than so uh nothing we'll do nothing we'll go to the next place right so three four remains the same uh let's not right here we'll change in the same array okay three four remains the same uh now the flag will be updated to true right flag will be updated to true so four one four should be greater than one four is already greater than one right so we don't have to do anything here we'll go to the next place okay uh now it will be again updated to false so one one two one should be less than two uh i think this is already in valid fashion so let's just make uh let's just make this a bit trickier here so we can do one thing uh three four one six seven um seven something two right something like this okay so first of all we'll start at three right we'll start off at three so three and we will have false flag will be false so we'll start off at three and three is already on order right because three is less than four and we want that only false right so uh we'll not do anything we'll go to four and we'll set flag to two okay four one four is greater than one and that's what we want so we'll not do anything we'll go to one and this will be changed to false one six one is less than six and that's what we want so uh we'll not do anything we'll move to six so this will become true now six should be greater than seven right six should be greater than seven but we don't have that so what we'll do is we'll interchange we'll interchange six and seven so that means seven will come here six will come here and that will be valid that that will still be valid why because in the previous step what did we expect we expected a less than b right we expected a less than b and it was already the case in the next case when we are swapping that is because we are expecting b to be greater than c but actually b is less than c so definitely c is actually greater than b which so c in turn is greater than a so definitely a c b this will be a valid combination as well right this will be a valid combination with respect to ac because c is definitely greater than a and we see that actually 7 is greater than 1 right so 7 comes here 6 comes here now we become false right now 6 should be less than 2 6 should be less than 2 but 6 is not less than 2 so we'll swap again right we'll swap again so 2 comes here and 6 comes here right uh, so we are done we come to the end so this is indeed a zigzag, zigzag array and again why was this valid just think about this uh, so what condition did we have here we had here a greater than b right we had here a greater than b and we wanted a greater than b less than c right but what did we have here we had b greater than c here like 6 was here 2 was here so we had b greater than c so definitely if a is greater than b and b is greater than c so definitely a is also greater than c right so we can have a c b as a valid combination as well because we want greater than here we want less than here so we can definitely make this change so that's why we make this change and we see that we end up in a zigzag array because 3 is less than 4 4 is greater than 1, 1 is less than 7, 7 is greater than 2, 2 is less than 6. So this is a valid zigzag array. So let's try to write the code for this now. The code for this will be pretty simple. So what we'll do here is, again like what is the time complexity involved? It's just one iteration and the space complexity we are changing in the same place and we just maintain one flag. So that's basically order of one space, right? So uh, order of n time, order of one space. So let's maintain flag. Initially, it will be false. And let's run a loop for int i equals to 0, i less than n minus 1. 
will not go up to the last element but last but one element right so if flag if flag is true that means what do we want if flag is true that means what do we want we want a greater than right so we want a greater than here greater than needed now we check if arr of i is indeed less than arr of i plus one in that case only we'll swap right so swap arr of i arr of i plus one we'll just swap that and else if flag is false what do we need we need a less than right less than needed so we'll just check if the opposite condition is true if arr of i is greater than arr of i plus one in that case what we'll do we'll swap arr of i and arr of i plus one we'll just swap them right uh and what we'll do here flag will be set to not flag like if it is true it will be set to false for the next iteration otherwise it will be set to true so this is the code let's run this okay so we are getting a valid output here so let's submit okay so this code is basically working so this is how we can solve this problem